Motherland be Motherland, Motherland, Motherland be We on the road, sticking more money than food. I want to go to Zuri. They always come to, to cream. Every single day we're in cream. We have seats already in cream. Hey. hey. I want dessert. I'm one of those people who go to a restaurant. I just want dessert. No, don't be crazy. We're having lunch. Then you're, gonna, then you're gonna be wanting to meet in the middle of nowhere. Or like a star time dessert. Okay, look. So we might as well live here, guys. Or have shares or something, because we're here all the time. So what are your plans for the day? I watched. Yeah, we all watched. Why does your camera make me red? I'm gurkating. <laughs> he said I'm gurkating. He's going go-karting. Yes. <laughs> No, my camera doesn't make anybody rush. <laughs> Some of the fake smiles. Bruising. Mannequin challenge. Then there's somebody moving behind you. It's <laughs> like mannequin challenge. What's this? No. She was kind of with the parents and they didn't want to answer something so they just froze. And they want to blink for that.
It's quite nice. The lady behind is screaming, but the guy is like right next to her. It's my face. Look at my face. Why do you do that so well? That's funny. Elevated crackles, elevated crackles. And no? What's that? And the <laughs> Where were you going? Look at her getting lost. <laughs> well, every woman for themselves, like you said. <laughs> anybody, anybody gets tired of getting lost in the parking lot. <laughs> Have you seen the horror movies? <laughs> Right, the black gold ass first. Mm hmm. I ain't trying to die. I'm gonna like, come on. What, what you talking about? In the horror I'm movie, I'd be like, where? Bye. I'm gonna catch an Uber. <laughs> I'm gonna catch an Uber. Then the Uber gets like knocked over. You know, horror movies. They're always the one who tries no. to escape. The smart one who realizes the house is haunted and tries to get away is the one who dies. So, what we just supposed to chill? Supposed to chill. Uh uh. You trying to get chill and wait for the ghost? Oh, there's some spur. Get some ribs, some hot wings. Who, who's going to eat when there's a ghost around? Let that ghost come up and be like, Whoa! That was her trying to scare me. <laughs> I'll catch her tonight. She, no, she never does. She'll just start hearing the walking dead, bruh. She never does. Look, look at that. I mean, what was that? Why is she so mean? <laughs> Happy Sunday, my lovelies. I hope your Sunday was just blessed and spectacular. And not as hot as mine is right now, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So let me stop complaining. In two ways, let's get into the words, shall we? I want y'all to turn to, whenever you have the time, turn to Genesis 17 verses 20 to 21. And they read, And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. That's the King James Version. Let's do the English Version. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will indeed bless him, make him fruitful, and give him a multitude of descendants. He will become the father of twelve princes. I will make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you at this time next year. Now, what the underlying message there is... You know how at times, as a Christian, you will pray for your heart's desires. And you know, in the Bible it, said, it says, ask and you shall receive. But we have a tendency to want to see the manifestations now. Right now, in our time. Right now, at our time. Because we see other people getting successful, getting ahead, getting their heart's desires before we do. So therefore, we, 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 we start to panic and we're like, but God, why? Why? That is in verse 20 of, of Genesis uh, chapter 17, where, you know, he's like, it's all, it's, all, it's all well and good. You know, Ishmael, I see you. I'm going to bless you abundantly, you know. I'm going to get you what, you what you need, you know. You're going to be on top of it. What you need to remember is that you, the one who's still waiting, the one who's still praying and praying and waiting on the manifestations to flourish, and to come about it has to do with the covenant yes it has to do with verse 21 
let the Ishmaels go. Let the Ishmaels have what they want. Let them get let them get it what it seems like they're getting ahead. Let them get their beautiful houses before you. Let them get healed before you. Let them get their beautiful cars before you. Let them get the promotions before you. But the covenant. The covenant that is between you and God is what it's all about. Wait on him. For his timing is perfect. And trust me when I say when he blesses you, it will be out of this world. It will blow your mind. So don't bother yourself. Ever bother yourself with what is happening with other people why are they don't ever be like why are they getting ahead of me they're not getting ahead of you what they're doing what what's happening to them is verse 20 that's Ishmael all right you just have to remember the covenant that is Isaac huh the covenant is between you and God the covenant was between God and Isaac who Sarah was going to bear so always remember that this time next year it will be on another level and sometimes at times you don't even know you'll be thinking that people are getting ahead of you but you don't actually really know how they even got to obtain those things or got to get that healing because sometimes it's not even of God so never ever ever listen to me never ever ever do your best pray for God to give you that peace of mind that peace that surpasses all understanding not to bother yourself with what's happening with the guy next to you, the lady next to you, the person next to you, because it's got nothing to do with you. Remember the covenant between you and God. Tell me how you feeling about your new cooking experience. Is the adrenaline pumping? I burned my hand, but other than that, you burned your hand already. Yeah, hey, brother. Those hot sauces, that hot water was jumping around. I was like, hey, hey. It was really good. Um, the food smells good. I'm hungry. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this kind of thing because I'm hungry all week. Except the white is full. It's not full. Um, putting lots of salt. I'm not sure about the salt game. I think I'm gonna make a mistake and put like gang salt because it looked like they were just going. I feel like. Your first actual cooking experience is always a lot of salt. Yeah, so, yeah, but I'm, I'm excited, eh? I'm excited. I'm planning on making Christmas in the so... Okay, cool. Go back in, <laughs> back in the game. <laughs> The taste test. Thank you, Lindsay. Okay. Good luck. I'm gonna treat you like Master Chef judges. Okay. <laughs> no shame. Okay, about to dig in. Thank you. That's good. Well, folks, it's that time of the year again when we assemble the Christmas tree. I actually wasn't going to be a part of this activity. I made up my mind that I wasn't. But because I actually have a heart, I decided to help this poor little soul to assemble this tree. Look at the poor little soul. <laughs> and my fingers are too soft for these things. I actually forgot that we had a white tree. The way we like things.
subscribe and share in that order, honey makers.